I want to show you how to make a simple briolet necklace, something very sweet and simple like this. They are, briolets are top drilled, and uh, here I have a chain that is 16 inches. If you want it shorter, you can cut in the middle. But what I'm going to do is I just, I'm just going to leave it a 16 plus a little bit. So I take it and I just open up in the middle. Then I take one side like this and then thread the other side and then connect the chain like this. Then I'm going to use it using my pliers, my round nose pliers, make a loop like this and slide this across this way so it's in the loop. I'm going to switch to flat the chain nose pliers. Well, the other one's round nose. This is chain nose because I have a very strong grip. Then I'm going to trim, slide that along this way. And you know, you could decide to do more loops if you want. However, long you want that. Just make sure that you do the same on the other side. And then here I do the same like this and I make sure that I have enough room so that for wrapping. So I've got the two that's equivalent to the other side. I straighten it and then if I want to stop there I trim. Well, what I'm going to do is, this one needs a bit rounding, I am going to wrap across this way because I want more of the gold showing as the highlight. Wrap around the other ear. I'm going to just wrap. can wrap around. You can decide if you want to. If I wanted to do a lot of wraps, I should have made the ears a lot longer, have a longer stick. That way there's more that it can grip more. So I wrap around again the other stone and I wrap around this way, this way, and I keep just doing that. Make sure that it's under the chain. And I've got two on the side. There we go. And I'm going to straighten. I can trim any time. You can decide to trim before you straighten out. I'm going to call those loops the ears. And I think I'm going to just do one more on the other side. Okay. And then tighten. I was just being a little bit on the cheap side there. <laughs> Cutting very short wire and then changing my mind. That happens a lot. And I'd say, you know, from experience, it's much better just to ha cut off a little bit extra in case then you don't have to start over. And I'm just going to tuck that in. There we go. And there you have that.